Okay, Roy Kalkas here. To Today I'm going to color my 24 by 16 inch Tower 16. So this black and white photo is printed on, with a light jet, it's printed on matte photo paper. This tower is on San Alejo State Beach in Cardiff by the Sea in California. And I'm going to use my Marshall photo oils, which are over here. So I'm going to use only five colors. We have here a sepia, I'm going to use only a little bit of that. Navy blue, viridian, burnt sienna, and sky blue, of which I will need the most. So, as you can see, I love lifeguard towels. So, let's get this done. So I'm going to start with the tower itself, adding sky blue to the size of the tower. I'm using a cotton round to add the paint to the photo. Probably my favorite blue. In Marshall Photo Oils, this is called Sky Blue, but it has a very strong resemblance to like phthalo blue when you buy regular oil paint. So I don't mind going over the railing here. It is easier to just go over it and then remove it later, which I'm going to do with either Q-tips or ITs. And you will see that there's a much faster way of doing it than to try to avoid go going over the railing. I love these lifeguard towers in, in like San Diego County. There are three state parks where I stand on these concrete poles and so far I haven't seen them anywhere else at least here on the west coast of California also I like this composition with the tower it's like it's looking to the right and I also give it a little space on the right here I don't want to crop it too close like like this it, it needs some room to breathe, so to say, on the right side. Also here, where the sky borders the tower, I just go over the lines and again I will remove that later. So to make this a little bit more interesting, I'm going to add a little bit of Viridian here and there. Like when you have big surfaces like this, it, it helps to like change up the color a little bit. Not too much. Of course I want to do that now not after I have removed the paint from the railings, the blue. So 
then I would have to do that again after I apply this color. take some sepia and I'll add that like as a rust to the tower I'm taking a new clean cotton round just use a tiny little bit amount of sepia and add it up here you can kind of see already in the photo there's like these streaks coming down and so I would like to add some sepia here, a, a brown. Just like that. Maybe also here. Back of the tower. And towards the bottom here. Could use a little more here. There we go. Yeah, that looks much better. And to just have one color. Okay, so now let's remove the color of the railing. Let's see if I can do it with a Q-tip, it might be too wide. Yeah, let's do this with a one of these pointy Q-tips called ITs. the advantages of using oils on resin coated matte photo paper like this but like this one you can still easily remove the paint and that makes this kind of work that I'm doing now like adding it on and what you don't need remove it later a lot easier let's take it a, a clean new one See how this already looks a lot better than if this was all covered with blue. This is what normally takes the longest adding the paint as you could see that went pretty fast but now taking care of the details by removing this paint that takes a bit longer
Okay, the last horizontal one. Okay, and now we have the vertical ones left to do. I do the wheeling first and then the outside of the tower is because sometimes you wipe the paint from the wheeling onto the sky and so now we can remove it all at once so let's do that now that I can do with regular q-tips cotton swabs So we're almost done with removing all the excess paint. And then we'll move on to uh, the beach. Maybe the tower in the back here. And maybe I'll add some, let's see, navy blue to the ocean. Now I'm taking a new clean cotton round and we are going to add burnt sienna to the beach. Okay, here we go. The tower on the back here, that's tower 16, is at the very south point of San Aleo State Beach and I, I'm going to add a little bit of blue to that one too but I'll do that with a q-tip you can also use q-tips to add color to the photos And again, that I will remove later.
So you can see also I'm going with my paint over the darkest parts here on the kelp that's on the beach and that's okay. I'm not going to bother removing the paint from that because it's so dark. It also doesn't add color really, it doesn't reduce the contrast, so I'm just going to leave that. What I will do however is I will remove the paint again from the railing here, from, from the ladder and the railing. Maybe soften it up a little bit in the, towards the back. So for the ladder I will use a IT again, because it's such a small area. I would like to remove it here too, this part of the beach, which is more of the, the wettest part. Good. Now we're going to take care of this region, so I want to remove a little bit of that brown. good and then we'll take again sky blue but just a tiny little bit amount on the q-tip just dab it on I think it's a little too much, so the other side, remove it a little bit. There, that looks good. So now the last thing to do is the ocean, to which I'm going to add some navy blue. very subtle and then again I take a Q-tip there's a breaking wave here which I want to make nice and white again there we go and then also of this part this part which is supposed to be white water I 
think I did pretty good with the horizon. Maybe there's a little bit here that we don't want. Maybe a little tiny bit in this part. We'll add that with a Q-tip. It also makes the white of this part here stand out a little bit more when the blue is on either side. Now take a clean Q-tip and tone that down again. There. And remove this little bit. And then there's a little bit on the ladder. It's not much, but just enough to bother me. So we'll so I will remove that too. There, I think that's it. Okay, so here's the final result. It's all done. If you like this and you'd like to learn more, please subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.